Talon Duman, you had some big family news in the last week. Talk us through it. Yeah, so the birth of my daughter happened on the 9th of Feb on the Sunday morning, which was great, great for me and my partner Claudia. Um, yeah, it's been great, great fun so far. And yeah, she's, um, yeah, she's beautiful. Picked out a name yet? Yeah, Ayla. How's she going? Yeah, she's going really well, sleeping really well and feeding. Um, yeah, really strongly so far. All the nurses and midwives are really happy with how, um, how she's going. Claudia's recovered really well and yeah, it's really down to business now and yeah, really enjoying our time being parents. We heard from Belly that she was quite a healthy size. Yeah, 4.2 kilo or 9.7 pound, which is, I think she was in the 90th percentile. So she obviously gets it from her dad. <laughs> how are you finding it being a dad? It's, it's obviously got to be a big, big new experience. Yeah, loving it so far. It definitely puts a new perspective on how you see things and yeah, coming to footy is really enjoyable now and um, yeah, just itching to get home from training, go see her, see what she's up to and every day she's changing. So yeah, it really puts a good perspective on life and hopefully that can really help my football as well. A lot of players do mention getting that new, new perspective when they become dads. Have you spoken to any of the other dads about it at Freer? Um, a little bit here and there. We don't actually have too many um, boys. We only got Barra, Sonny and uh, Willow who have kids. So just sort of little conversations here and there. But yeah, hopefully there's a few more boys who can um, pop them out soon. There wasn't much of a break for your pre-season. You, you, you were back into it pretty quickly. Yeah, not much of a break. I stayed here over Christmas because um, Claudia wasn't allowed to fly. So, yeah, it gave me it was a good opportunity to train here, train hard and, um, yeah, get, lot, get lots of work in while, um, yeah, everyone else was sort of away on holidays. I could really knuckle down and, yeah, get the best out of myself. Have you found the last week or so on the track? Yeah, it's been good, really starting to heat up now, um, especially getting some game time in. And I think everyone's in really good spirits heading into next week's uh, March series. So, yeah, this time of the year, it's all about getting minutes into the legs and a lot of game simulation and learning all the new structures. But, yeah, it's been really enjoyable. Boys um, are really coming into their own. Hopefully we can translate that into the start of the season. There's been a lot of talk around the back line with Joel and, Joel and Alex set to miss the start of the season. How are you seeing that shaping up? Can you see a lot of boys stepping up? Yeah, it's obviously going to be disappointing not having them available, but it's a great opportunity for others to step up. Griffin Logue and Brennan Cox are the two main ones who can really fill that key void. And yeah, I think everyone just got to pick up their um, pick up their weight a bit and play a little bit better to try fill the void of um, Joel and Alex. It's been quite fortunate for us because both of them have been staying out on the track. Sorry, sorry. It's been quite fortunate for us because both of them have been standing out on the track, Brennan and yeah, Griffin. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, they've been really strong the way that they've been training and um, yeah, it's going to be great to see how they go in the Marsh series and how the new back line for now really gels together and yeah, it's going to be a great opportunity for them to yeah, show what they're um, really what drafted for. So Coxie, Coxie was a centre-half back, All-Australian at um, under 18, so yeah, hopefully he can come through and play the role that he um, was drafted for really. How did you find the scratch match last week? Yeah, it was a good, good hit out, um, plenty of things to take out of it. Um, we weren't perfect by any means. And lots of learnings to come out of it, but I think it's a good um, stepping stone on, on our way to round one. You can use that as yeah, minutes in the legs and yeah, take little things out of it to help translate into this week's um, intra club and going forward. Your preseason's wrapping up. Do you feel like you've got a lot out of it coming into the Masters series? Yeah, definitely. I don't think I've missed too many sessions, um, if any at all. Um, yeah, I felt like growing each year and getting fitter and learning my, learning my craft down back, and yeah, hopefully I can step forward and. Um, have a big year this year.